Hi, welcome back to GP Reactions. Hope you're well. Hope you're having a great weekend. Um, so I'm going to be reacting to a track by Madness. And um, it's from an album called Absolutely. And the track I'm going to be reacting to is called Embarrassment. And it's taken from about 22nd of November 1980. And it entered the UK Top 40 and peaked at number 4. So it's quite a successful track. Um, and this is one I kind of know. Um, so this is more of a revisit for me, um, but it was such an unusually different track to anything else I did. Um, I kind of really kind of felt um, I, I should kind of revisit this and um, see if I can understand a little bit more about it. So without further ado, uh, I think this is the official video of it. Um, we'll see. Um, and hopefully this one can kind of get blocked. If it does, I'll come back and react to uh, a different um, version of it. Okay, I don't remember this. I mean, I'm listening to this and it kind of feels like a, it feels like a very personal account. Um, I know I said to at the start, it, it kind of feels like a real departure from uh, some of the music that Madness make. It's usually kind of real happy slapstick um, lyrics. Um, and this feels really so, so dark. And, and how it's filmed as well, it kind of does make you feel, it kind of feels like I feel, it, it has a feeling of isolation, um, as if a person that is kind of singing about is feeling isolated too. And obviously the title is Embarrassment. Uh, I, I, I don't know why I was kind of thinking that it was maybe something to do with um, having a child out of wedlock. Um, I think there was, I can't remember whether it was the six, 60s or the 50s where it was kind of really looked down upon um, and maybe kind of religion has a role to play in that as well um, but I'm not too sure it's it's kind of a, a wonderfully different record from Madness um, to, to perform and uh, I'm sure there's a great, greater story to this um, but I kind of feel it's somebody tells me I, I kind of feel it's very personal to maybe a member of a band they say stay away
that was a that was a madness with embarrassment and um, yeah, it kind of felt like a really dark record that did. I mean, clearly the fa the the coach on the record the families uh, wants to. I don't know what to think about um, the actions of of a. Uh, their daughter, I, I, I'm kind of imagining it is, um, and she's she's done something which has kind of like brought um, sort of shame on the family, or in their eyes, it's kind of brought shame, and um, and I, I kind of get a feeling that that the the conduit of their angst is is maybe uh, perhaps it's a perhaps it's a member of the band. Perhaps it's a member of a band who's, who has a sibling who has kind of gone through something and um, they're the ones and, and this is the dialogue that uh, parents uh, are like are having uh, through the, the male sibling um, or through another uh, relation about their daughter uh, and it kind of feels awkward really um, I mean, these days, it you know, it wouldn't be, there would be no embarrassment in it, but um, it's an interesting one. I'm going to have a quick look for lyrics. I'm also just going to take a few seconds to um, to uh, ha have a look to see if there's uh, if there is an actual story behind this. Oh, so wow! Um, just having a quick look through the lyrics, and uh, and I've just kind of like read a little bit of a backstory to this. Um, and I kind of wasn't too far away from the mark, but uh, with a slight twist. Um, so I mean, the lyrics. Uh, so the, the story essentially is that it was uh, a member of a band, and it was actually I think his sister was having an interracial relationship, and I think she was um, she was having uh, uh, the the chap's baby, and. Um, the phone calls uh, and the letters, um, I think mainly phone calls to this band member as he was on the road, uh, kind of relentless phone calls every night um, about the uh, embarrassment of his sister in this interracial relationship, having this man's baby and how, uh, how neighbours might think about it. And so he says, um, our our uncle, he don't want to know, he says, we are a disgrace to the human race. He says, how can you show your face when you're a disgrace to the human race? No commitment. Uh, you're an embarrassment. Yes, an embarrassment, a living endorsement. The intention that you have booked was, was an intention that you overlooked. It's, so it's kind of like blaming uh, his niece, um, um, their daughter, saying, you know, it's, you know, you you may have not kind of intended for this, but you should have thought about your intention of being with uh, a, 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 a man from a different culture, um, a man of a different race. And, um, and you know what, it's just, it's just kind of mind-blowing to think that there were people back then that kind of thought like that. I mean, I mean, in, in 1980, um, you know, my even a school, school I went to was, quite mixed raced and it, there was no there was never any kind of problems so I don't know maybe it's uh, um, you know certain families um, but it just seems such an alien kind of concept now to be honest uh, they say stay away don't want you home today keep away from our door don't come round here no more our dad don't want to know he says this is a serious matter too late to reconsider no one's going to know you. Our mum, she don't want to know. She says, I'm feeling twice as old. She says, thought she'd had her head on her shoulder because I'm feeling twice as older. Basically, they're kind of like more, they're more worried about what other people think. Are. And um, not to come here and see us no more. Keep away from our door. Don't come around here no more. What on earth did you do that for? Yeah, it's, it's difficult to kind of, you know, get my head, uh, my modern head, around this concept, really. Um, I'm kind of hoping this doesn't exist anymore, you know. It's, um, but there, there is, 
I, th I think uh, the conclusion to this story was that um, it did kind of end more happily. They did uh, accept everything I believe that was going on. Um, but yeah, it, it does make for a powerful, powerful record. And uh, it's quite, you know, it's kind of really brave of, um, of, this, of this band member and the band to... Um, to maybe tackle this subject in a song, um, it's a real kind of social statement, uh, and especially as it's so close to one particular band member. Um, and yeah, I don't. I think um, they have done one or two songs since. I think Madness have where they have kind of tackled uh, a social injustice of sorts. Um, and uh, but this one really kind of stands out as as um, and, and I don't suppose it was so obvious to them. And whenever I heard this song, I just literally thought it was about. I knew that it was about a family and about somebody had done something wrong, but I didn't really kind of know exactly what the um, detail was because I never really listened to the lyrics that much. I just felt that it was quite a dark song. Um, and even the uh, colours in the video, although it's an old video, the colours are kind of like, uh, I feel like colours have been drawn out. So it's it's almost black and white in some places. But it, it is a great song and it's it's one of those landmark songs, I think, uh, particularly of 1980. Um, and 1980 was quite a dark year. Um, I think 1981 was... Uh, a real kind of year of um, a lot of social messages uh, within the songs. Um, and then 1982 was more of a, like a celebration of colour, I've always thought. Uh, yeah, um, so yeah, you know what, let me know what you think of this song. And um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be, um, I will be reacting to more Bandas soon. So um, you know what, till next time, take care of yourselves and um, speak to you guys soon.